Welcome to the Stylish Homestead. In this video today, we're going to show you how we took a resin shed kit and turned it into our new chicken coop, and we did it all ourselves with a little bit of help from family. So my husband and I bought this shed kit and put the main structure together by ourselves. It took us about half a day. It was pretty user-friendly to put together and didn't require anything too fancy. Just a few power tools and a lot of teamwork. We decided to get this resin shed kit to make into our coop because it was more cost effective than buying a ready-made chicken coop that was big enough for our 22 laying hens or to have built something from scratch um, with materials. So it was just a way to save a little money and we also liked the fact that because it's resin it's not going to rot out any anytime soon. I also like the fact that it looks attractive from the outside. So that's why we chose to do the resin shed. Because it's resin and there's some concerns about the strength. We did reinforce on the inside with two by fours to be able to have something to attach our nesting boxes and anything else we wanna hang inside the coop, as well as just to strengthen it against the Ohio wind and long-term use. Farm. Uh, today we're gonna to show you the chicken coop that we made. So as you can see, we have our typical uh, seven by seven, seven feet by seven feet craftsman shed made by Lowe's. Uh, so my wife and I put this up yesterday. Uh, we put on some, 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 uh, some supports down here on the bottom. Uh, we're gonna open, up, open this up for you guys and kind of show you what we did. I would also like to add that we did have help from my father-in-law as well as my stepdad building this. So I can't take all the credit. So we got a simple, nice lock and door mechanism here. It's very easy to unlock. You can open our door right up. You can come up here and I'll show you the other locking mechanisms here that we have on the door. Oops. So if you see down here at the bottom, it's kind of nice. It's got a nice little lock system. I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but it's a nice lock there. And it's the same thing at the top. Okay, and then the door opens up. So that'll be nice when we leave the door open for some airflow, we can leave one of them kind of open here. All right, so if you look down at the base of our coop, uh, as you can see, we used some uh, uh, eight by five inch posts as our base with some half inch plywood. I'll leave this open here. Sorry, the wind's blowing. Welcome to Windy, Ohio. Yep. So we did that, my wife and I did that, made that the other day. Um, and then we went ahead and built this entire structure, which you can see the base on the floor here. And then what you can't see is this is actually lag bolted uh, with 3 8 lag bolts on the ground. So it's nice and sturdy on the actual base that we have here. And then uh, kind of moving right along here, we framed the entire inside uh, with two by fours to try to give it some more strength. So if Brandy comes up here, you can kind of see that a little bit better. So you can see we've got two by fours all the way across on the sides, um, off uh, three of the sides anyways. And those, once again, at the bases are lag bolted to the ground as well. If, Brandon, if you come over here, you can see a picture, you can see it right here. So a nice lag bolt with a washer right there. Okay. And then if, Brandon, if you come over here, we can see we used some stripping or some strapping, I'm sorry. And we actually attached some strapping to the sides here and here. Um, so you can see those, it kind of just gives a little more sturdy as you can see it's, it's not going to move. And then we got some extra plywood we had on the farm and made put some plywood up here on this side as well as that side. And we got our brooding boxes here, or our nesting boxes, I'm sorry, from TSC. So we've got four of those. And then a trick that we kind of figured out on our own here as well is taking some old kitty litter cans, which my wife so lovely painted for us so they look nicer. Uh, and we attach those then to the plywood as well. So if we need to, we can add more, obviously, with the more birds that we have. Um, but then you can see, looking back here, we got two nice roosting bars. Okay, we put those in. We've got this. We're actually eventually going to put our food. We're eventually going to hang our food from this right here. But we're not doing that right now because we don't have any chains. So it's just there down there on the ground and you know, on some bricks. So we'll hopefully we keep it less dirty. And then the bottom corner over here is actually a little slot. This, this craftsman shed, fortunately, comes with a slot. For electrical so we can run our electrical right here we should only have our heat lamp on for a couple more weeks if that maybe hopefully actually hopefully only a couple of days because uh, it is warming up here it's about 55 today but it's supposed to be down to 18 tomorrow so with that my father-in-law is standing outside right now so we're going to go ahead and bring some of our chickens in they've been in our basement and our brooder so we're ready to get them outside these are the two that were 
chicken so thanks for tuning in if you have any questions please let us know i'll be more than happy to help you out and if you have any suggestions let us know as well